Columbia River is back for its 75th year. Cor Harlan is live this morning out in the gorge looking ahead to the Roy Webster Cross Channel Swim. Cor? Roy is with me this morning. As you can see, all the medals on here. Roy Webster, of course, is the orchardist in this area who uh, decided one day, uh, Labor Day back in 1942, he said, you know what, I'm going to I'm going to swim across the river today, and it's turned into a pretty cool event, the biggest and the oldest swim event in the Columbia River, and uh, it is here in Hood River this morning where about uh, the last of 500 or so people are registering this morning, and it's all uh, on behalf of Roy Webster. Now, i got two people with me here. First guy I want to talk with is Dick Clark, not the famous Dick Clark, but he says the infamous Dick Clark, who you swam this for 37 years in a row, right? That's correct. What do you do it for? To prove that I'm a man, <laughs> like the country song says. And how does your how does your wife feel about that? Is it working? Because I have a feeling my wife would say, uh, "I need a little more proof." Well, a lot of people think I'm crazy. <laughs> the water can be kind of cold for a lot of people, and a lot of people think I'm crazy to do it. I would be amongst those, probably. 60 degree water. Well, uh, it's about 70, almost 70 today, so. Well, we'll catch up with you. Good luck, Dick Clark, right there, the infamous Dick Clark, right out there. All right. Now, Mike is the, uh, what's your, I didn't ask your last name, Mike. Oh, Glover, G L O. That's an easy name to remember. Mike Glover is the executive director of the Chamber of Commerce here this morning. This is a, this is a, a on a Labor Day yeah. when a lot of folks are sleeping in and kind of lollygagging a little right. bit. This is a neat way to start the day, is it not? Yeah, it's a great way to finish off the summer, really, and that's kind of why it's been traditionally held on this day, and uh, we're really happy to see all these folks out here and appreciate the fact that they get up early. We're I mean, it's normal for you, but for these folks, this is a big deal. And this is a kickoff for you of a big season coming up. Just give me a couple a couple events here in Hood River going on. Yeah, we'll be coming up in a few weeks. We'll have a Hops Fest, uh, which, you know, we celebrate all the hopped beer in uh, the Oregon area. And then Harvest Fest in October. And then we'll have the holidays in um, December. Before you know it, New Year's will be here, exactly. right? All right, Mike Glover with the Hood River Chamber. Just a quick word on what goes on here. The, everybody, the last of the group is uh, registering here. As you can see, there's 500 of them that'll that'll be here this morning. And then swing around to the right, Carl. Show the folks a little bit over there. What they're going to do eventually here, Ken, is they're going to wander out to the stern wheeler out there. Everybody knows that stern wheeler. That's pretty famous. Everybody gets on that. Uh, they paddle over from uh, Hood River over to the Washington side of the river, and they go upriver a little bit, so most of these folks will be swimming downstream. That's the good news. It's a 1.1-mile swim back here to the port at uh, Hood River. A brisk, a good way to start the Labor Day holiday, and again, all in honor of our man here, Roy Webster, who started this whole thing in 1942. He's a man of few words, if you uh, haven't picked that up by now. Thank you very much, Cor. Appreciate that. And uh, Hood River, just 